Hello everyone, and welcome to my review of Fantastic Four. This review was requested by Harry Williams Productions. So thank you very much Harry Williams Productions for your request. Big help to me. Now, Fantastic Four, I'm referring to, of course, the 2005 version, as I have yet to see this year's version of Fantastic Four, which I hear is a complete pile of shit. Now, ten years ago, 20th Century Fox and Marvel made this version of Fantastic Four. So, you know, we've, we've got all the usual characters. You've got Reed Richards, Sue Storm, Johnny Storm, and The Thing. And I remember... I didn't go to see this when it came out 10 years ago, <coughs> but I remember getting it on DVD. I think I got it on DVD around the time it was released on DVD, so I've had it roughly about 10 years. So, um, about four months after it came out in theatres. And if you want me to be honest, when I first saw it, I was 10 years old at the time, bearing in mind. I thought it's a decent film. I thought that it was a decent action superhero film. And at the time, I'd say at that specific time, my favourite superhero films were Spider-Man. The Tobey Maguire Spider-Man films. And there'd all have been two at that point. There'd all have been one and two. Number three wasn't released until uh, 2007. So I didn't know that uh, that franchise was going to come to an abrupt halt because number three didn't really go down well with some audiences. And I actually quite like three. Yeah, I don't necessarily think it's the best out of the trilogy. It probably is the weakest of the trilogy. I'll give it. I'll give it that. But I think they should have carried on, and they shouldn't have made the Amazing Spider-Man. But that's my own opinion. Some will disagree with me, which is completely fine because some people like Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man, and to be honest, with the Amazing Spider-Man films, I'll just quickly point out. It wasn't Andrew Garfield's fault. It wasn't his fault at all that those films, like that franchise ended, because they want to make four of those films. Obviously now, we're getting it rebooted again, which is just really annoying. And it wasn't his fault. He was just mistreated, in my opinion, and Tommy Maguire happened to be treated better. So the plot of the 2005 version of Fantastic Four goes like this. So here's like this info on the back of the DVD. So Jessica Alba, Chris Evans, Michael Chiklis had a sexy star-powered cast in this explosive adventure about a quartet of flawed, ordinary human beings who suddenly find themselves with extraordinary abilities. After exposure to cosmic radiation, four astronauts become the most remarkable if Dyfunctional Superheroes of All Time. There's been more Dyfunctional Superheroes than these, I think. I think you just need to look at the Guardians of the Galaxy. I mean, you've got a freaking raccoon and a giant tree, for God's sake. Unfortunately, the mission's sponsor has also been transformed into the world's most lethal supervillain. Ooh... Setting the stage for a confrontation of epic proportions, 
packed with non-stop action, big laughs and show-stopping special effects. The foursome are awesome. And who said this? The Sun newspaper. Okay then, so kind of a rough idea of the plot. The movie is 101 minutes long, so it's just under two hours. And I hear that the new films are around that length, the new, the new 2015 version. Now, I'm not going to bother watching the 2015 version because everyone who I've seen and every review I've seen on YouTube and every review I've read has said that this new Fant 4 stick or whatever the hell you want to call it I like to call it Fant 4 sucks as everyone seems to be calling it people say that it's a complete abomination and they should not have made the film and I agree why reboot a franchise after 10 years? bizarre now this film of course this 2005 version was the first of two films. There was a sequel to this called Rise of the Silver Surfer that came out two years later in uh, 07. Now, I think the cast for this film did do a great job. You've got Jessica Alba as the Invisible Woman. And, you know, she's been a first year of films here and there. We've got Chris Evans, of course who um, is better known to wider audience nowadays as Captain America, another Marvel superhero and much more recognisable and better Marvel superhero because he's a member of the Avengers. And they've got Lone well, Aaron Griffin, I can't, I can't remember how you pronounce his name. He plays, you know, Mr. Fantastic, the stretchy guy. That actually looks stretchy like that. Yeah. Um, then you got Michael Chiklis who plays um, The Thing. And then the villain for this... You know... Storm. It's played by... Julian McMahon. Is that right? Yeah. Julian McMahon. He plays the villain. Uh, Doctor Doom, not Doctor Storm, and I think that he does a decent job. You know, in my opinion, this film, like I said earlier on in the review, I thought that this was a good film at the time. I've rewatched it since, and I can find quite a few flaws in it. I just feel that some of it's a bit too corny. Yeah, I don't know, it's just me, I guess. I just It's more for kids. I think kids would enjoy this more than adult audiences, in my opinion. It's a superhero film. I think the special effects, I think that's all done very, very well. The CGI and everything, especially on um, Johnny Storm, you know, the Human Torch. I think the way they did that is a lot better. And... Again, I've seen in the trailer for this new version of Fantastic Four, the CGI doesn't look as good. And I've heard that it isn't actually as good in the full final version of the film. And while I'm on the subject of that trailer, I've more or less seen the whole film because apparently all you need to do is just watch the trailer you've done with the film. This, on the other hand, done much better. Trailer for this film doesn't give as much away. They're astronauts, as I mentioned before. That's all they like at the beginning of the film. Like, in the new version, I believe, it's a huge chunk of the whole film. And then, as soon as they become superheroes, it's one year later. Whereas this, you get to see the effects on what it has on them. Like, Ben, who play, you know, he's the thing. He loses his wife because he turned into this rock thing. And... Unlike the 2015 version, which is all CGI, this version is just all used with prosthetics, and you can. It's not really 
age that well, in my opinion. I remember thinking at the time, yeah, that just looks fake. It doesn't look like rock at all. And I don't know. I think the new one kind of looks a bit more like rock from the pictures I've seen than the new one. Um, I'm not planning on seeing the new one, so uh, don't really expect a review of that because I don't want to waste like two hours of my life watching shit films. I don't do that. <laughs> unless, unless you really, really, really want me to watch the film, then I am just going to stick with these two for now. Uh, Fantastic Four and the second one, Fantastic Four Rise and Silver Surfer. <laughs> you know, I'm not... I just find a reboot of this so bloody pointless. It's just like Spider-Man. You didn't, didn't need to reboot it. And if it did, it was too early to do it anyway. If it was like another 10 years, then yeah, I would have said, yeah, reboot it now. If it was just 20 years in between, i say reboot it. I mean, if it really needs a reboot, then you need to reboot it. I mean, Batman it definitely needed a re reboot, and that was great. That was a glorious reboot in the form of Batman Begins. And likewise, with Man of Steel, that needed a, that um, was a reboot to Superman. And Superman needed a reboot because, well, Superman Returns was all right. It wasn't quite spectacular as it should have been, you know. I mean, you had the cast there and everything, but the story, it was just a story, it didn't do it for me. Uh, this is the same thing, I think. I think the cast are good. I think, I think they've been well cast, in my opinion. I think that the story is decent. I'll go so far to say that. There are some funny moments in this. Uh, but... Not the best superhero film. Definitely not the best superhero film ever made. It has lots of flaws. I think the villain, while he does a good job, the actor who plays him, I feel that it's a bit too hammed up in some cases. And I feel that the final battle is a bit, let's say... How can I put this? I think that the final battle is anti-climatic. And quite odd, really, because I remember as a kid thinking that the final battle was awesome. I've watched it recently, I think. I thought, what did I think was awesome about this? I don't know. I just Maybe it's just me growing up. I don't know. Because it's ten years later now, and I know what's going to happen. Maybe it's with watching it the first few times you're a bit more surprised. Whereas when you watch it in retrospect, you find more things wrong with the film and everything like that. And I just feel that the, with this film, there's tons of things wrong with the film. Um, I mean, the CG's good. Uh, the acting's just all right. And, you know, I don't like... Like what they did with the thing, you know, it doesn't look like a rock creature. I mean, if you just um, take a look at that, I mean, you can you can kind of see it on the cover of this, but when you actually watch the film, when he's in motion and stuff, it just doesn't work. Plus, I think the CGI on. Um, Mr. Fantastic, you know, the stretcher guy. I feel that it's a bit dodgy and yeah. But the music, now the music is good. I really like the music in this film. The whole da, 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 da. Uh, the ending was a bit predictable. Uh, you know, Sue Storm and Reed Richards, they get engaged at the end of the film. And then, the, like, the last shot of the film, it, it, it has a perfect end with the flame making the four symbol in the sky. Film, you think it's over, and then you, all of a sudden you see the ship, and Doctor Doom's on board the ship, and he's getting taken away somewhere, and yeah, it was a bit of a shit ending. Overall, I'm going to give this film 
the score of a 4.5 out of 10. I do not think that this is a fantastic film, no pun intended. I don't think it's a terrible film. I think it's just below average, in my opinion. Uh, it's not a film that I'd go out and buy, uh, go out and rush to see. And I just feel that in terms of film treatment, what we've had so far, as of 2015, Fantastic Four hasn't really been treated the right way, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, we had the sequel to this. The sequel at the time was hailed as better than this. I thought, yay, you're going to get a better sequel. And I didn't think the sequel was all that good either. And I'm going to review the sequel, Rise of the Silver Surfer, and I'm going to say exactly why I didn't think it was as good as this. I mean, this isn't that good, but the sequel isn't that great either. But... From what I've heard and from what I've seen, this new Fantastic Four, this Fant Four stick, yeah, I don't like the logo either. Why are they giving it a square for? I mean, the logo on this is way better than the, the one we've got this year. It, it, just the four, it is in a circle. Likewise, the costumes, they all look great, you know, like those costumes and everything. Plus, the things wearing pants, and the new one is completely nude so yeah it's just it's a shame really because Fantastic Four are awesome they've got awesome comics and things they're in space in the comics we've never seen that I mean alright in the second one you briefly see it but I'll, I'll talk more about that when I come to review Rise of the Silver Surfer the next installment in the uh, ill-fated Fantastic Four franchise. Now, I said that it didn't need a reboot this year. I think now, after the lackluster response this new film's got, I think we definitely need to wait a few years for Fantastic Four to come back into the hands of Marvel. Marvel can sort it out. And then Fantastic Four can become part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It can be in films with the Avengers and things like that. It would just be absolutely friggin' awesome. Why they didn't do this before? Why? Well, it just goes to prove that films that aren't made by Marvel, most of the time they suck. I mean, the first three Spider-Man films, I didn't think they sucked. The Amazing Spider-Man, I thought, sucked. Uh, same goes for Amazing Spider-Man 2. And these ones, these Fantastic Fours, they were all right. They were just meh. And I hear that X-Men's not as bad, though. Uh, probably because we've got a good cast and they've made so many of them and it just happens to be successful. I mean you got Hugh Jackman as a Wolverine and Hugh Jackman is very popular. But with Fantastic Four and a number of the other superheroes, why don't Marvel just you know, why don't they just get given to Marvel again? Marvel owned them, they made them in the first place. Give it to Marvel movie studios, let them release the film and then I guarantee it would be better. It might not be the best thing ever in the world, but it might be better. And that's it, everyone. So, once again, huge thanks to Harry Williams Productions for requesting a review of Fantastic Four. Yeah. I just didn't think it was all that great. I don't think, from what I've seen, you know, I've always seen the two films that came out in the last ten years. I've not seen the new one. I don't plan to see it. But from what I've seen, and not all that pre impressed, but that doesn't mean to say that I do not like the Fantastic Four themselves. I really like the character traits. I really like all their abilities. But 
their abilities have already been used in another superhero film, which I think is tons better. And looking at you, Incredibles. Now, The Incredibles, brilliant. I love The Incredibles. It's a Pixar animation. If that was Fantastic Four, that's how you do it, in my opinion. So, yeah. I'm going on and on and on now. I'm just going to end this review. Thank you very much, Harry Williams Productions. And likewise, thank you very much, all of you who have stuck around for the over 20 minutes to watch me do this rant slash review of Fantastic Four 2005. If you've got any suggestions or recommendations for what you want me to review in the future, then please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you want me to review and I can see what I can do for you. I hope you're all having a great day and until next time everybody, cheerio. Peace. Don't forget to click the link below to subscribe to me, James Croft, a.k.a. The Obsessed Tuvian 95. Have a great day.